Hi, my name is Josh, and I am a Wargaming Noob. And here it is, the Panzer III for Warlord Games Bolt Action, and uh, this tank obviously is for the German Army. It comes with the Panzer III sprues that you can build as an Os J L M or N version, um, and then it comes with the stat card, the decal sheet, and damage markers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this to the other side, and this is an example of what you can build out of this kit, as you can see. And it does come with the stat card for each version of the model. So depending on what you build or if you magnetize, you'll have the stat cards. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Let's see if I got everything here. Yep. All right, first off is the construction guide or the build sheet. Um, again, uh, this is a very detailed model, so take your time when putting this together. I know the first time I put the Panzer III together, I ran into a couple frustrating uh, moments because of the components. Uh, so that's my advice to you. Go ahead and take your time. Um, next up, we have the damage markers. So you have smoke, fire, I guess dark smoke, and then you would just glue these on to the MDF bases included. Next up, I'll get this out of the way, is the uh, pack, packed by Vaz, and this includes the decal sheet and the three, I think, different cards. Let's take a look, see if I'm right. So, thank you, Vaz. Here's your decal sheet. Turn it around like that. Lots of different options here. All right, so first off, the Panzer III offs. L or M, German medium tank. This is used in mid-war. These are the point costs, regular 100, 195, veteran 234. Very beautiful looking tank. And there's some of the stats here. All right, next up, we have their Panzer III. Panzer III Offs J. This was used in the early to mid war. And the point costs for the different levels of the tank crew. This one has special rule. Alright, and then lastly, the Panzer III Offs N with the armored side skirts different point costs used in the mid-war you have a tank commander that you can put at the turret I don't know I think you can use that for all three versions of the tank so just a quick look once more all right you also get this um, ad sheet for uh, Warlord games other products as well as um, kind of a ad sheet for a tallery who makes the sprues for this model and these are some of their different products all right the meat and potatoes here are the sprues i'm going to go ahead and open open up this bag so we can take a closer look this does have a lot more components uh, because you can build three different versions of the tank so we'll look at the first sprue here this main hull and all the other components here now again my advice take your time putting this together there are a lot of small components to this tank and that was the one frustration I had when I built my first Panzer 3 just take your time all right the second sprue this really is just the tracks and then here are the side skirts for the uh, the Aus N version of the tank. And we'll go 
go ahead and take a look at the first brew once more. All right, so I'm gonna show you a built, my built version of the Panzer III. And here's the Panzer III that I built out of my first kit. Um, I built the uh, Alfs L or M. I, wish, I really wish this would focus. Here we go. So, as you can see, there's a ton of detail in this model. I wanted the tank commander to be placed uh, in this position because I thought it was actually cool to have that. Um, the one thing I didn't do was keep the turret loose, so I glued it down. But yeah. I think this is a pretty cool model. And there you have it, the Panzer III for Warlord Games Bolt Action German Army Faction. This is a great kit. I I've always been a proponent of kits that you can make multiple versions of that model from, and this is an example of that. Um, if you want to, you can try to magnetize this model. Uh, for me, I, I think I won't. Um, since I already built the uh, Aus L slash M, I might uh, end up building one of the models with the side skirt, or maybe just the late model version of the tank itself but yeah this is a great kit and uh that's it thanks for watching stay tuned for more unboxing videos for more gaming noob